bunch of reasons for why they are um, chasing this rally, right? There's actually quite a few. Um, end of month for October, you know, into suppressed volatility because of FOMC, plus all the other, you know, Fed dovishness, but also CTA levels are getting up into that gamma level, right? Which is encouraging buying. Flat market, they buy so much and up market, they buy even more. Most of the treasury buybacks stabilizing um, the bond market so they can uh, basically get yields down to goose the markets before the midterms. The systematic buying by CTAs, vol control is in clear sight. Uh, risk parity, they don't care. They're just not buying treasury. So what's to get in the way from a, a market melt up into the end of the year? That's a, I think that's absolutely the bullish case. Um, by the way, MasterCard is now coming out of this squeeze, trying to pull a visa, trying to get back up to 335. As long as it stays above 316, above 321 for MasterCard if you are chasing or swing long. Gorgeous little breakout. Look at that. Pretty. 321. So from... If you're a little bit wider stop, it's going to be 316. 321 is the trigger long or stop if you're chasing. Swing, it's 316. Price target is going to be first 335 and change. And then we'll see if we can get going to the 200 day, which is basically about 340. So MasterCard looks pretty good and Costco looks pretty good. MasterCard and Costco for chases or swings. Um, in other words, a lot of stuff has already pushed up into its 200, uh, you know, 100 day or 200 day. And now they're kind of digesting, but these haven't yet, right? So they, they haven't reached some of these levels, right? It's really, really close. So it's really, really easy to imagine it getting there. So that's basically it. Um, all these oversold bounces, I'm not so excited about myself. That's not my my style. I like to wait until it forms a pattern. Apple, obviously, the reason for the season for this bounce. And they're still in gamma squeeze mode 